Today, I decided to film our daily walk because I woke up to this. It's one of the first major snowfalls of the year and it's just absolutely beautiful. I won't lie, I used to dislike winter so much, at least during my adult life. I used to like it as a kid, but when I moved to the city, it was so much of a burden. There was a lot of traffic, the snow was always brown and slushy. But now that I moved up north, I'm just enjoying it a lot more. Look how pretty it is. And oh, that's my fiance Kathleen and look how beautiful she is too. We moved here in the summer and one of the things that attracted us to this home was this hiking trail. I don't know how long you've been following me for, but I used to post a lot of hiking videos with Kathleen. In 2021, we pretty much hiked every single weekend and we climbed almost all the peaks in our area. So we wanted to get a place where we would be able to do that almost every day. And yeah, we found this beautiful place with a nice trail in front. We've only been doing the little 10, 20 minute trails, but there's an actual loop that takes about four to five hours. We have yet to do that. We've been pretty busy this summer, so maybe next summer. But this specific trail that we're walking on right now is special to me. This is where I actually proposed to Kathleen. We're gonna head up there in just a second. We haven't been up there in the winter time yet, so we were curious to see what it looks like all covered in snow. In the fall season, it was so beautiful with all the different colors of the leaves. And in the summer, it's just so dense with all the wildlife and the little cute animals. We've always loved our daily walks, whether it's in this forest or even when we used to live in the city, we used to go for walks all the time. Walking is probably the most underrated exercise that you can do. It's a very gentle way to get moving. You literally engage almost all your muscles in your body, including your heart, which is probably the most important muscle that you have. You get all that good oxygen in your lungs and it just feels great. It's a good way to decompress. If you suffer from anxiety and stress, walking definitely helps. My grandma is 99 years old. She's actually turning 100 in May. And every birthday, I always ask her, what's your best life advice? What is your secret to long life? And she always answers every year, walking. <laughs> walking is the best exercise. And I do remember that she used to walk everywhere when I was a kid. She actually moved from the Philippines to live with us when I was born to give my parents a helping hand. She played a huge role in raising me and my earliest memories as a kid was walking everywhere in our town. We would go to the store, the post office, the park, to church. She never got her driver's license and we would rarely take taxis. And believe it or not, to this day, she still walks. Maybe not as far. She has her little walker. She also has a wheelchair, but you'll rarely see her in it. All to say, I do believe her advice and I definitely believe that it's one of the most underrated yet best exercises that anyone can do, especially as a beginner. But even if you're advanced, taking daily walks is so important for many reasons. Now, you don't have to walk like us in the snow when there's a storm. I just wanted to do it because it's beautiful and we haven't done it this season yet. But you can always get moving from home, as I clearly demonstrate in all of my videos on Instagram and TikTok. The idea is just to get moving. Promote circulation in your body by getting your legs, your arms, your fingers, your toes, your whole body moving. Our bodies are meant to move, and if we remain sedentary, it could cause a whole lot of issues. It typically starts with one thing, and then it becomes a chain reaction. The less we move, the more our muscles become weak. With weak muscles, they don't really protect our bones and our joints, which can cause wear and tear, pain. And with that pain, we become even weaker. And with that weakness, we become even more sedentary. And it's a tough place to get out from, but we can all get out from it. And it all starts with the first step, literally. Because that chain reaction can happen in the opposite direction as well. The opposite meaning towards something positive, towards you getting stronger. You take that first step, then another step after, then another step after. Before you know it, you're months in with hundreds of thousands of steps from the starting line, feeling stronger, better, and more confident. This is the spot where I proposed to Kathleen. This is forever our spot. I'm sure you watched a video of the proposal. 
I kind of tricked her into thinking that we were filming our typical workout video. We do a lot of videos together and she's always doing the advanced, more intense version and I typically do the beginner version. I told her I wanted to do a little winter workout on top of the hill and it wasn't snowing so it was the perfect time to film. She agreed, she loves doing workout videos with me and she's super supportive so we left the house and took a little walk towards the hill. I have pretty good cardio, I jog all the time, but at that point I was completely out of breath. My heart was pounding so much, I guess I was nervous. We've been together for three years and I had no doubt in my mind that I wanted to marry her, and I knew she wanted to marry me too. But my heart couldn't help but beat a million miles an hour, and she noticed, she was wondering, Hey, why are you walking so slow? You usually run up this hill, but I look like I've never exercised before, so I was walking so slow and she was ahead of me. When I got up there, I propped my camera on the tripod as I usually do. We did a couple exercises just to get the frame right, and I was about to go on my knee, there was this jumbo jet that passed right over us. It was so loud and I had a whole speech prepared, so I didn't want that jet to ruin what I had to say. So I pretended I wanted to do another set of another exercise. Exercise. When the jet finally passed and we were both standing there, I dropped on one knee and I asked her to marry me. I told her that since our very first workout, our very first video, I fell in love with her and I'm gonna love her forever. Way past our very last workout, way past our very last daily walk. I'm so excited about the in-between. You know, from your first steps to your last, there are so many paths that we're gonna be taking. And I'm not just talking about the journey of marriage and relationships, I'm talking about everything, life in general. The journey of the unknown. Some paths that we're gonna take are gonna be snowy and tough. Some paths are gonna be beautiful, filled with color. And as we take each step, it's important that we smell the flowers, play in the snow, and appreciate everything along the path, and enjoy the journey.